Hello everybody, my name is Alexander aka Oxygen Starvation. So you needed a new PC and you did all the research, chose all the parts, watched Linus, Paul and Jay build their computers on YouTube. Then you assembled your computer following every instruction they set. You pressed the power button and nothing happened. I'm very familiar with this feeling because that is exactly what happened to me. And in this video, I will tell you how I managed to fix it. The whole problem originated from my NVIDIA GTX 960 and how it interacted with the rest of the system. My particular model is the Gigabyte GTX 960 with 4 GB of GDDR5 memory. And my motherboard is also from Gigabyte. It is a Z170 HD3. They are very good components, but they did not work straight away as they should have. The problem that I experienced was that the system would not post, even though all the lights and fans were on. After that, I unplugged everything but the absolutely essential components for the computer. That means that the computer only had a CPU, CPU fan, RAM memory, and was connected to a power supply. That's it. Everything else was unplugged. The system would post in this condition and would recognize my CPU and RAM. At that time, that was much needed good news. For a moment, I thought that I did something wrong and destroyed my Intel i5. Fortunately, that was not the case. Unfortunately, the bad news came when I plugged back the GTX 960. Again, the system would not post. For a few nerve-wracking minutes, I thought my graphics card was dead. But then I remembered that the Skylake CPU has an integrated GPU, and maybe the problem was software related. So after removing the NVIDIA GTX 960 and entering the UEFI, I found the menu for video card options. In the case of the Gigabyte Z170 HD3, that is peripherals and then initial display output. Yours might be different. This setting allows you to specify which graphics card will be used during the boot process. As it turned out, by default, the motherboard was set up to use the card in the first PCI Express slot, which under normal conditions is what you want. In the manual for the motherboard, Gigabyte recommends that you put the graphics card in the PCIe slot that is closest to the CPU. However, when the computer is freshly built, it has no operating system and no drivers, and that were the reasons why the GTX 960 didn't work right away. Luckily, the fix was easy. All I did was set the Skylake integrated GPU as the default. Then it was a case of installing the GTX 960 once more and booting up into the UEFI to check if all worked. And it did. Afterwards, I proceeded with Windows installation and when that was done, I downloaded and installed the necessary drivers from NVIDIA's webpage. After driver installation, I restarted the PC and entered the UEFI, navigated to the same menu as before and changed the default graphics card to be the GTX 960. The last thing that I did, and this is important, was to change the HDMI cable from the motherboard output to the 960's output. And now, everything works as it should. This was my first build, and maybe it is common knowledge for professionals, but I didn't see Linus or Jay or anybody doing this in their build logs. It is important to know that this video described my particular problem and yours might be different. There are lots of guides on troubleshooting a new PC. I particularly liked the one from Tom's Hardware. But if you have a Skylake CPU and a dedicated graphics card and all of the fans and lights work but the system would not post, try removing the GPU, the GPU and see if that works. And one more thing. Online guides recommend uninstalling all old drivers before a video card driver update. I haven't done an update yet, but before I do, I would probably go to the UEFI and set the Skylake GPU as default, just to be safe. Hopefully, this video will help you to solve your problem, and if it did, drop a like or leave a comment below. I would really appreciate it. Oxygen Starvation, out.